traders and welcome to our YouTube series where we are interviewing traders from across the globe who have recently passed the evaluation phase. Our mission at City Traders Imperium is to coach and develop traders reach their maximum potential. We have the best institutional funding rules in the industry and for a reason. We want to recruit the best traders to join our hedge fund which will be regulated and coming soon. Guys, before we begin the interview with our most recent trader who has passed the evaluation phase and is now a City Traders Imperium portfolio manager, can you please like and subscribe the button below to get updates on new portfolio manager interviews. It would be a pleasure of mine to introduce our most recent portfolio manager that has passed the CTI evaluation, Stuart. How are you, Stuart? So yeah, Stuart, um, just tell me a little something about yourself. You know, how was your trading journey? What were you doing before you go to trading? And just your journey, basically. Yeah, sure. So um, I've been a teacher for 16 years. And in 2019, I contacted City Traders. I wanted a, a, a complete career change. I felt I, I wasn't really... Uh, achieving my my life goals, I was in a, a rut, uh, and I wasn't really using the skills. I I felt you know that the skills I was using weren't being used to their full potential. So I, I contacted City Traders. Um, and for six months, I was being mentored by by Danny. And it was roughly this time last year that I started the evaluation account. And uh, probably the worst time to start trading with the, the pandemic. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but it was last week that I, I passed. So that was a, for me, that was an amazing accomplishment. Uh, trading while working full time, it was very, very tough. Um, balancing family life with work with this um, achieving that goal was uh, was amazing uh, so I'm now uh, on the next stage 100% I mean balance out you know balancing out a full-time job especially teaching and your family life and being able to trade that's really, really hard because you know you need to get in sync with the markets and monitor your trades, forecast it, manage it. So to do that, big clap on the back, that's a, that's something really, really hard to do. But you've done it. This is why you're a portfolio manager. You've got the skills to be a trader. You know, um, let's let's talk about your trading strategy. What exactly does it entail? Uh, well, I have a, a book, um, which I'm now transferring on to Trello. I have lots of strategies, uh, which involves um, lots of back testing. But the strategy that I have actually allowed me to pass the the evaluation involves some pretty basic stuff to begin with. So it's all about finding the primary and then secondary trends, uh, uh, support and resistance lines, and then we go into the more complex indicators so uh the squeeze momentum indicators uh the vice wave volume indicator i won't go into all of it um uh, but it's all about timing yes um, how, how do you describe your entry you know what's your processes before you enter a trade uh well nature of my job um I have to use the, the daily trades, um, which it does take a bit of getting used to. So I'm tempted to look at the, the trades during the day in between uh, lessons. Um, but the, the actual process, yeah, that that's that's interesting because I have to make sure my strategy is absolutely 100% met. Yeah. Um, and that's frustrating at times because if I see a trade that looks, hmm, that looks good. But when I go through my checklist, and it's a quite a long checklist, 
if I see one check that isn't checked, then I don't go for it, which can be quite annoying. So I've spent a good 15, 20 minutes going through uh, the trade, making sure the conditions are right. But it's all about patience and uh, perseverance. Hundred percent. I mean, when it comes to trading, most people focus on the outcome. You know, they get fixated on, you know, how much profit it can make, and you know, in how long you can make a profit. They start thinking about how much money you you can make, the Lamborghini lifestyle and whatnot. But the issue with that is that you're completely ignoring the process, which is what you just talked about. So with the process, once you're committed and you're passionate about the process, such as following your trading plan, you know, back testing and everything. The outcome of it is just a byproduct of your processes, you know. So this is a clear example of why you know you're a portfolio manager for CTI because you're focused on the process, and only the professionals really are in the flow of the process. So the rules, the the the, the back to everything I just said, you need to be 100% into that. The outcome would just be a byproduct of that. So well done, well done for just being a professional trader in that sense. Let's um, talk about your track record. So I've got a screenshot of your performance. I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Right. It looks like you, you were battling the markets. Well, it was a tough one. So let me share my screen. I did overtrade. There was a, a time when I was doing a few hundred trades a month. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see. So I'm just looking at your equity curve now. And we can see, you know, you started with a bit, bit of a winner, 16, 20, 30 trades in, you're just hovering around break even, small loss, bit of profit. But here you can really tell the psychology that you went through. This is what you call being grounded. I mean, you know, you go into profit after your 100th trade and then you go into a losing streak, you know, and you don't really go back to that equity curve. Mm -hmm. And then you end up, you know, after 200 and, 20 trades you're in such a bad losing streak most traders will either blow their accounts or revenge trade or they'll increase the risk whereas you managed to completely flip it around and not only did you come back into profit you completely smashed it up until your 330th trade and you just killed it from there can you explain your you know the journey through your evaluation based on this equity curve I remember precisely when I got to that stage where I almost lost the, the account. I was 50 pounds away from uh, losing the account. Um, it was just a, a series of really bad trades. Every time I put a trade on, I met my, like my checklist, but as soon as I put the trade on, uh, it just went, pear shapes. Um, I was patient. I thought, oh, okay. It, it might change in a few hours, in a few days, but it didn't. So I, I would cut the trades or I would wait till the trade was finished. But when I got to that point, I thought, right, wait a few days. So I stopped trading for three, four days. Um, I just probably wasn't in the right mindset. Uh, I was up until the bottom of that curve. I was just trading pretty much every day. I needed three, four days where I just walked away. Um, I persevered with that same strategy. I knew that strategy worked because of all the results from my back testing. And I was winning trades. It was just a series of trades that, for whatever reason, looked good on paper. It just didn't happen. It just didn't work uh, in real life. So that period of time now, I just walked away from the computer. Uh, I was in a better mindset. There were no what I would call revenge trading. I was I was definitely uh, 
a victim of that. Um, and you can see the results from there that after that, that short break, uh, things start to turn around. Fantastic. I mean, that's a clear example of just taking a break from the markets. You know, as traders, we're initially we're athletes, right? So you don't really see, let me name two random athletes. Let's say Cristiano Ronaldo or Hussein Bolt, the best athletes in their field. You don't see them trading, you know, hundred at the full maximum every single day. They need to take a break. It's the same with trading. You need to take a break. And the fact that you're aware that you were in a losing streak, you were literally over trading, you took a break, three, four days, and now look, the results just kept on going up. It's just a clear example. I mean, I, I think it's just fantastic seeing your the psychology and your equity curve. And then with the last part of your performance, was that a, a, you know, a combination of a few trades or just one big winner? No, that was a series of, of very lucky trades. Um, so towards the end of February, um, I had some very lucky trades, I would say. Again, they, I was using the same strategy and fortunately I'm still working from home. I was able to monitor the the, uh, the trade and each time it was nearing the target, I was able to increase the target, lock in the, uh, the profit I was making and just follow it until it was uh, the momentum what was nearing. So that's the result of that. Fantastic. Let's see the actual statement now with the real numbers. So we can see. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know, we can see multiple very, very small positions. You know, you're very conservative. I was pretty nervous at that point. Yeah, he, I mean, he wouldn't be. You're starting some, you know, your, you know, the inception of a prof fund. You don't, you know, you don't want to be risking high amounts. You know, what you did is pretty, pretty sensible. I mean, you know, multiple, multiple wins. And the time is of your trades as well. What time do you normally trade? Um, Most of the evening around these times. Some actually. This will be before school and after school. Oh, perfect. A few that during my lunch break. Yeah, yeah. Are you lacking the staff room just trading? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you actually are? Oh, I, love, yeah. I, love, I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of trades. Let's see the actual results because I saw this earlier. I was actually really very, very impressed. I mean, your win rate. You have a 70% strike rate. You know, that is way above average. Most traders have a 30, 40, 50% strike rate with decent yield. So this is very impressive, a 70% strike rate. And with your profit factor, you know, you're averaging more than a one to one. So you're risking, let's say, a one R to make 1.3R. And that's what keeps you in the game. So yeah, looking at your results, they're pretty incredible actually. What's, what's your thoughts on, you know, your results, looking back at it? Uh, well, it was definitely a marathon rather than a quick sprint. Um, I've got no one who I know really to uh, compare this with. So until seeing this, I don't really know what this, this meant. I've seen my, uh, where, where is it on here? I can't see it. Uh, yeah, the percentage of, of uh, right, um, seventy percent. I thought was pretty average. Uh, I, I was I was hoping for a higher rate, um, but you're saying that's amazing. Um, I'm always hoping for, for better. Um, but the, again, the number of trades I've taken out, I dread to think how much I've spent on. That those commissions for the uh, the trades uh, that that must be quite high. All the the eighteen pences were spent on on, on the trades, uh, the ninety pences, uh, and so on. Um, what else have I got here? I've got the 
profit facts 1.36. Total trace 201. I thought it was more than that. <laughs> that's, that's still quite a lot. How many trades on average were you taking a day? Uh, when I first started, it was certainly over 300. When I first started, I did lose the account pretty much straight away due Three, to a typo. 300 trades a day? Oh, no, not in a day, in a month. Oh, in a month. Okay, okay. So you're more of a intraday slash scope of trading style. I had to uh, change my the way I was trading to fit in with my work. So before I started at my current school, I was um, supplier teaching. So when I wasn't in a school, I could do trading from here, and my trading was very much using the four hour chart. But now I'm in a proper job in a, in a real school. I've got to use the, the daily chart, which I actually prefer. But it does mean I'm not fiddling around with the, the trades. I'm not always looking, um, which has its pros and cons, of course. Absolutely. Now, Looking back, is there anything that you will change from your current performance or any advice that you might give yourself if you were to do the challenge again? Or any advice for any future portfolio managers based on your experience? Uh, I would certainly, I mean, if I was to advise myself, um, I would advise myself to be a lot more patient with the with the process. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would say the same thing. I'm not the most patient of people. Um, I would never have thought it would have taken roughly a year to pass the evaluation. Um, obviously, the situation we're all in has led to things to be a bit a bit different um but it's, you know it's taken a year and i've learned a lot from it uh, certainly i'm a very different person as a result of it mentally i'm more resilient i don't get as pissed off as i used to be when i would lose an account or when i would lose a big trade i just yeah, all right and move on. Um, but yeah, patience, setting time aside for trading, setting the time aside for fun things. It's all about balance. That's something I would advise me or anyone else about setting time aside for, for work, for family, for whatever. 100%. I mean, patience is one of the biggest factor when it comes to being a profitable trader. And you just said it yourself, you need you need to balance out your life. You know, you can't fully commit to trading or fully commit to another job. You need the right balance. So again, just hats off to you, Stuart. What a fantastic performance. Thank you. Fantastic performance. So yeah, let's um, wrap it up. It was really, really nice chatting to you. And again, my comments. Congratulations and well done. Hats off to you. That equity curve and the psychology, you are a soldier. You know, I really, really do rate that. So well, well done on that one, Stuart. And hopefully, you know, keep me updated with your future progress with CTI. You know, eventually you'll be trading 2 million. So God willing. And that's, that's the goal, you know, financial freedom. That's the goal. 100%. All right. Nice chatting to you, Stuart. Likewise. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.